It's great to be able to talk to you today about our new data for people with type 2 diabetes from Salford in the United Kingdom. We're very fortunate in that within the population of Salford we've been able to follow up actually everybody who lives there for a 20-year period. Salford is a city that exists in the north of England. It's an old industrial city and the people there are a predominant white European ethnicity. Within the cohort that we've looked at we have more than 11,000 people with type 2 diabetes who were diagnosed around 2010 and subsequently. So we've followed them up for the period between 2010 and 2020. In this study we were particularly interested in the differences in gender outcome between men and women. We looked at other factors as well. We looked at the age at which people are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. We looked at the duration of type 2 diabetes. We looked at body mass index and smoking. And we also looked at the way the social disadvantage impacts in mortality in this group of people. The key findings for this 10-year follow-up, which incidentally stops just before the COVID-19 pandemic, so it stops at the beginning of 2020, are that women have a higher mortality rate than men as measured by the standardised mortality ratio, in this case adjusted for social disadvantage because as I've alluded to, Salford is an area which has a higher level on average of social disadvantage than the average for England. So the standardised mortality rate adjusted for deprivation is higher for women than for men, significantly higher. And importantly, the life years that they lose from having their condition is more than men at just under five years for the women compared with under four years for the men. So this is a really important finding in terms of how we understand health outcomes for women in the United Kingdom and women with type 2 diabetes in the United Kingdom. Other factors that significantly shortened life expectancy apart from being a woman versus a man were being a smoker, uh, being uh, even within the group of people who live in Salford uh, more socially disadvantaged uh, and also having a longer duration of diabetes but interestingly having a younger age of diagnosis of type 2 diabetes was also a factor that acted to potentially shorten people's life expectancy versus the general population. In terms of why this is we're not able to formally explore this in this study which is essentially a register study it may be related to body composition factors. We know that the, the shape of women, the distribution of fat versus muscle is different in women than in men. We also know that generally in relation to, should we say, dysmetabolic risk, that women develop type 2 diabetes later than men do in terms of formally reaching the level of glucose that would result in them being diagnosed to have type 2 diabetes. It therefore may be that they accumulate multiple risk factors even before they've been diagnosed to have type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, there are significant hormonal changes that occur in every woman at the menopause and this may have a particularly profound effect in terms of perturbing lipid profile, lipid action, the LDL receptor function in women as they cross the threshold from the premenopause to the perimenopause and then into the full menopause. So there are a number of factors. Also of particular note is that it may be that there are differences in prescribing of medication within this group. For example, we've found that the women are taking less SGLT2 inhibitors than men. We know that there is a very significant benefit of SGLT2 inhibitors in men. Of course, the period that we're looking at goes before SGLT2 inhibitors were on the market and available in the United Kingdom. But certainly treatment availability factors, treatment concordance factors, as well as body composition and hormonal factors may be acting here. Generally, to conclude, we consider women to be at less risk 
of dying prematurely than men. What we found here, and this is the important take home message, is that women with type 2 diabetes actually have a shortened life expectancy, even compared to men with type 2 diabetes, when we know that type 2 diabetes itself significantly shortens life expectancy, with the difference, the uh, increased life years lost for women being nearly one year more than it is for men. So that's the take home message. Thank you very much for listening.